Hi, today I want to show you how I make a dress form for my BGD doll. First I start with putting her in cling form. I, I don't know, it's a sandwich wrapping plastic like this. Then I have three different sizes of um, painter's tape. I start with a medium sized and I put it on her waist like this. I try to put it on really really snug like so. I try to smooth it out a little bit. I think I will take the thinnest tape and try to really tighten everything up. It's a lot of bulk here in the back, so I try to put it in. Try to make it as snug as possible. Oops. This kind of tape, it uh, breaks really easy. This painter's tape. No, we we go above the bust line, above the breast line, this, into the back. Now I will tape like this. I will make a cross above her shoulders from the up like this, like that, between her breast, and you push down a little bit above the shoulders and to the back. And I'm going to do the same thing going over the other shoulder. Now I'm going to make it around or across like this. I don't think I have to rip it off there. Put it on the back. I have some more. Here I have to, I think I will take the wider one and go I have to take away some of the painted tape under her arm like this And I will continue wrapping her in this painter's tape and we'll be back later. So now that I taped her all up, I will open up this dress form from the back. I will cut like this. 
and I have to be really careful not to cut into her. Really, really, really careful. This. And here she is. All naked. And here you have her body kind. Now, if I'm going to add on top of this, obviously this dress form will get far 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 too big for for her body so when i join it in the back again i make it a little bit overlapping in the back like this so it gets a little bit smaller than it's if i do it like this edge to edge so now I have made a dress form with more uh, painter's tape and I made it to be the same size as my BGD doll. So now I think I will stuff it with old fabric and see how it turns out. It's an old bedding set I'm tearing apart. I will pack it, stuff it with this. And then, when it's really well stuffed, I will put some, some uh, wadding, quilt wadding. The things you put in quilt around the dress form. Like a pen or something. And I have to do it really firmly so it holds the pressure from the outside when you're putting fabric on top of it. So now I'm stuffed it all the way. I put a chopstick and I put wrapped some fabric from that around it and put it in. So this will be you can put it on on a styrofoam piece or whatever you can stick it in so it will stand up. So now I will put some painter's tape to close it up like this. So the next move will be putting some wadding around it and putting a cover. I will use a really stretchy fabric. I haven't figured out yet which one but I will go and see what I can find. So I will be back. So. Now I have put the wadding under this cover fabric. It's a really stretchy two-way stretch jersey, cotton jersey. And I just drape it around and I try to squeeze it together as hard as I can so you can see the contour of her body under. So. And then I'm going to, by hand, sew it together in the back. I will try to make it a straight line like this. And then I'm going to do something nicer on top. And on the bottom, I'm going to tuck it, tuck it under. And i show you when i done that. So, now it is finished. It's a really simple model, but it will suit 
the purples really really well you don't have to pinch your doll or put pins into your doll you can pinch this one with needles if you want to so here it is and I just tucked it under and glued it to the stick and then I put some painter's tape, tape around you can put some nicer tape around if you want to but yeah that's the finished product